Hey, what's good, leprechauns? Today we're playing Minecraft. Yeah, I don't have to sound so depressed about it. We're, we're going to be exploring this, this map, which was made by me uh, a long time ago. It's actually, it's not a complete map, it's just a pretty much random assortment of a bunch of different things, but I remember I used to really love this world and really love uh, working on it because I'd build all these cool things. And look, I kind of implement a bit of a story, but uh, that wasn't safe. So the thing about this world is that I, I worked on it a lot, and then all of a sudden everything on my computer was erased, and so was this world. So, but the, uh, this is an older version of the world, so it doesn't have it doesn't have a, uh, some of the newer things that I made. This is probably the, the oldest surviving world of Minecraft that I have. So let's explore it. Okay, so. Shoot all the floating stones, but do not shoot the beacon stone. And so so look, crack this bow, and it has infinity. So we're in creative right now. It's supposed to be played in adventure mode. Um, this this world is literally called adventure adventure world. All right, let's see how good we are at shooting these things. Oh, we're good. We're good boys. Oh, we're real good. I don't want to aim higher for that because it's farther away. Oh, we're amazing. We got all of those first try. And see, so look, you can't even hit that. There are, there are uh, things in the way. What are they called? There are, there are uh, barriers in the way. Okay, so yeah, there's a fishing pond. Uh, it's not too exciting. Um, hold on. There's actually a thing. In, whoops. There's actually a thing under here. Bunch of maps, castle. Yeah, you're not, even su you're not supposed to see sting. Yep, deadly flame scythe, castle. Stir so these are these are just for my my map maker eyes only. So then we got this. I haven't actually explored this world yet. I explored it a little bit, but uh, not that much. And this is supposed to be an insta kill sword. I thought I gave it 1,000 damage, but I guess not. So you know this is the blacksmith, got all this stuff, uh, this is where the blacksmith sleeps I guess, it's pretty plain, but this is kind of cool. Got all this stuff, quite the assortment, and just pretend that that's made of iron. And then you have this random thing which is just a portal to the end, I don't know, it's one of those random things where I'm like, okay I'll make that. Uh, it was there long before the, the blacksmith was though. And there's, there was one, there was a horse that was supposed to be in there. I don't know where it's gotten off to. And then there's a stable. There are supposed to be horses in every one of these. Uh, I guess they're all dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Alright, and then you got this. It's a reference to the band Switchfoot, if you've ever heard of them. Uh, just look up Nothing Is Sound album cover, and you'll get the reference. Uh, if you go up it, though actually does lead somewhere here and well I'll just fly up there so there are a bunch of barrier blocks invisible blocks you gotta have faith and see look it takes one a nice if I if I go to the side I'll fall but if I don't it'll lead me all the way over here where where are the okay well I don't know uh, it leads you all the way to this tree what's in there? nothing oh yeah I remember that I I was like, what should I put in there? And then I never, I never decided on anything, so I never put anything in there. Oof. <laughs> and then, there, this was, there were supposed to be battle horses in here. I guess they're also dead. Okay, and then this is, so my brother also made some things in this world. This is one of the things, he made this whole track. So you'll see this track several times throughout this, this video. Just throughout the world. And this is like a little station. Uh... You know, there's got some treasure in there, I guess. Plenty of torches. I guess we'll, we'll go on that track, like, probably at the end or something. Oh, and this is one of my favorite parts. Uh, you got a nice little house here. You got something, I forgot where that leads. We'll check that out in just a second. So, you know, you got a pleasant little house here. This is behind, uh, 
I probably actually should have gone in there first thing, because this is like the central building. I think this takes you to... That was supposed to take you to a woodland mansion, but I guess that didn't work out. Something happened with that. So this is like, it leads into a temple, which it can be activated by pressing, by throwing these switches, these levers, by going up there. But how do you get up there? Hmm, how do you get up there? Yeah, we'll see that. And of course, the Triforce. Pretty much the Temple of Time. Uh, you'll see many things from other games and such in this world, so just keep that in mind. Alright, what's this? Where does this lead? I remember all the little places I hit these things. So this leads down here. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's like a sewer, kind of. And um, what is this? Oh wait, oh wait, this leads up to that one place. That leads up to here. Oh yeah. Wait, what do I do now? I just get out. Alright, so there's not much of a point going down there. It's just a neat little thing, I guess. Alright, continuing the tour. So there's a little thing that leads, uh, that leads over here. And there's also like the little training areas. There's a little parkour thing you can do, like if you go up here, you can, uh, you can do this, and then you're supposed to land on that and, you know, just come up all the way over here, and then, uh, and then you come up here and, and there's, I remember I put a shield in there, but I guess it's gone, and then of course, I already shot all those. Uh, there's so much stuff <laughs> I want to look at. Okay. Alright, you know what, I'll just show you this. I'll show you this. So you see all these holes? I, I intentionally made a bunch of different holes to misdirect, but it's actually not that hard to find this. So you come in here. Is this gonna work? It doesn't work. Uh, hold on. Okay. Makes sense. That's supposed to lead to this ship. Uh, apparently that doesn't work anymore, which is unfortunate. Alright. Yeah, there are a lot of broken things in this. Alright. So we're gonna save that, because that's the more interesting. That, in my opinion, that's the more interesting end of the world. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna look at all the mundane things around here. Might as well show you inside of here. Look at all the mojins, uh, logos. So this is what I call the Universal Library. And I have a bunch of books. Welcome to the Universal Library. Here you can rest well and equip yourself properly. You can also browse our extensive collection of books and knowledge and learn many things about the outside world. But make sure to return them once you're done. You can make spawn points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do all that stuff. You can do all that stuff, yeah. Pretty much just an introduction. So, and then, you know, you got all these, which I plan to fill with books. I planned to fill with books, but... Are there any books? Are there actually any? Whoa! Oh, I f okay, I forgot about that. There was a secret that led you to this, like, private collection. Is there actually anything in here? Okay, that's the one that leads me. Alright, well, I, for I totally forgot about that. Uh, wait. I remember I had a few books. Yeah, yeah the trap door. have four books, alright. So the trapdoor tells you about this. Also, for some context, there's gonna be a lot of stuff about rangers in this world. That's the, the reason is because I used to have a ranger skin that I use all the time. If you look at my older Minecraft videos, you'll see it. But like, rangers abode, I made this for myself. There were a bunch of Lord of the Rings themed stuff in there, but I'll press that button. So this is like, pretty much my home. Uh, it's got all the essentials, I guess. This takes you right here. And there were letters and such. I guess they're not there anymore. Alright, and we got maps. And then I'll go there in just a second. So this is the second floor. There's nothing in these chests, but they're supposed to be. Or there they're, they're, they're was going to be, but I never got around to it. Uh, I don't know why that's invisible. There are a bunch of enchanting books in there. 
This is pretty much the, the place where you where uh, where uh, you rest. And then there's a bunch of armor and weapons and stuff, or at least they're supposed to be. Give this cookie to P Thrill. There's only one cookie left. We're having a party. The last cookie. So that's kind of a funny thing that you do that you're supposed to do. So cookies. So P Thrill. Actually, I should have shown them. Let me just come out here for a second. Oh. So these are supposed to summon fireballs that you can hit. It's like the defense of the library or something. I don't know. This is Pithril. The parrot. Pithril the parrot. So actually in Minecraft, if you give a cookie to a, pi uh, to a parrot, it'll kill it immediately. So... <laughs> there's that. And then, yeah. Okay, so I've showed you everything in here. And then there's down here. Alright, so this is kind of a cool place. So this is the nether room. Uh, those mob spawners are supposed to be spawning uh, uh, nether enemies. Uh, I guess they've stopped working just like most things. So of course I don't need to go through there because you know what will happen. And then right across from it you got, you guessed it, the end room. The Ender Room. The Ender Room. There's supposed to be Ender Crystals up there. I don't know what happened. Uh, I might as well replace those. Alright, but I replaced all that, so that's all you need to know. And of course that leads to the end, and you know. You know how that goes. Okay, what the... Okay. So, uh, that's everything in the library. This is out of the library. So this is like one of my favorite places to always come to. So let's go through, let's go around here. It's a little bit of a parkour thing. If this were a video game by itself, this would be like this would be what this would be what I would do. I'd be like, hmm, can I come over here? Can I break the game a little bit? But you're supposed to do this because this will lead you over here. Oh, okay. This will lead you over here. You can notice these ones, these things. That'll bring you down here, which will bring you down here, which will do, allow you to do that. Press that. Alright, that's supposed to warp you. Might ha I'll have to fix that later. That's supposed to warp you right back here. And, you know, you're kind of technically supposed to get both of these, but you only need to get one. So, uh, I always like resetting things, putting them back to normal. So, I'm just going to put that back to normal and phase through that. So, I'll just pretend like this is open. Pretend like that's open. Alright, so then you come in here. Uh, it's a good thing monsters don't spawn because it's a sacred place. Oops. Okay. And, uh, that's kind of a disappointment, but there's supposed to be, uh, the best sword in the map. It's contained within that chest. So it's actually not that hard to get. All you have to do is flip those switches and you get it. And then, like, in here you got. I had like really powerful armor and stuff in there, but that's gone now. But anyway, that's that's everything in uh, around the library, I think. Okay, on to new things, other things. Oh yeah, forgot about this. There's also this. It's probably not even gonna work. Oh, it does work. Okay, this is one thing that still works. One teleport that still works. Okay, so this is basically I forgot what I called this. I think it was like the game makers area, the game maker's domain or something. Um, yeah, but these teleport you to key locations around the library. And I forgot, uh, okay, so I think, I forgot, I think if it has, okay, uh, wait, what? there's supposed to be chests right there. Oh, no, no, they're right here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if it, if they don't have, uh, things above, uh, barrier blocks above them, they'll kill you, or, I forgot which one it was. No, because these are, no, 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 I forgot which one. Okay, so, I'm pretty sure it, if they have barrier blocks, they'll kill you. Okay. So that's what happens. Okay. And then there's a, li there's a little picnic, uh, get right here. Adam is supposed to have food, and this is supposed to be called a picnic basket, or whatever. We'll move on. We'll move past that. Um, 
For some reason, I think five was like the, the world number. <laughs> was like supposed to be the world number that's why I made this epic five fountain with lightning and like that's like the, you know all this is wild and untamed because I never did much with it um, so uh, it's it's a it's a not so funny story for some reason I built uh, I built the twin towers right here I don't know what I was thinking I del I, I uh, deleted those promptly once I get up once I got back into this world so yeah all right but moving on to something better this is a cool little bridge uh, I'm pretty sure there's a teleporter somewhere that puts you like right here and like it forces you out and puts you down here and you're stranded forever but uh, I forgot where that is there's so many teleporters in this world uh, there's a chest here I'm pretty sure that used to have a bunch of diamonds pretty sure every slot had 64 diamonds in them. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. I don't know, just a little thing. Uh, this diamond block, I forgot what it meant. I'm pretty sure there was something special underneath. Oh yeah, I remember it now, I remember it. There was like a bonus, a bonus diamond. There was like a bonus diamond, or whatever it was called. And there were only five of them in the entire world. And this is one of the spots, and like there's a diamond block wherever there's a bonus diamond, so that's a fun little extra. Unless you got that bridge here. Uh, I don't know if that leads anywhere. Um, I didn't build this, my brother did. And then that just leads out here. And I don't think there's anything out there. Maybe like far away, because I occasionally build things really far away. But I don't think there's anything over here. Alright, and then there's this whole area, which is, uh, I made, like, I was planning to make a, uh, uh, a house dedicated to every holiday. Uh, this was one of them, the 4th of July. Obviously, if you don't live in America, you're not gonna celebrate it, but I do, so I put it in here. Those are supposed to contain fireworks, so that you do that, and it sends fireworks up, but those are all gone. Yeah, and that's supposed to be red, white, and blue beds, but I guess those were reset for whatever reason. Everything was reset. Well, most everything. So my brother actually built this, but this is like, this is actually pretty, uh, uh, pretty cool thing. I call, we called this like the beach, the beach hut, I think. Even though it's more like a beach bunker. So like, there's, a, it's like a labyrinth, it's like a maze in here, it's actually kind of creepy. That leads up somewhere. I think this leads somewhere eventually. It goes it goes a bit far down. Oh yeah, and this looks into I think there were supposed to be a bunch of wolves in there and maybe a bunch of squids in there. Alright, so yeah, this leads a bit far down. Where does this lead? Oh yeah, that leads down into a I'm pretty sure there used to be like a lot of villagers in here. Where does this lead? I don't even remember all of this. Wow, there's yeah, there's so much here. Okay, so there's that. We'll just close that. Okay, so that's another thing. There's a lot of ways into this place. So that's a creepy door. I'm pretty sure it leads somewhere creepy. I'm pretty sure there's blood along the walls. Uh, I can't see. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of heads in here. So it's a bit of a creepy ending, but I'm pretty sure this is where the beach hut was, or beach bunker was supposed to lead. So we're just gonna leave that back in the past where it belongs, forgotten, and never speak of it again. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a place in the beach bunker you can see that from. Yeah, there's always somewhere you can see something from. Alright, and then there's a little thing here. There were two boats in here for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, and there's a little ride here. Uh, more of the track. This was the Christmas house. That was supposed to throw snowballs. It was like a little snowball fight, and I put some snow golems in there as well. Guess they're not here anymore. Big surprise there. Right. And then, like, there were a bunch of gifts in here. Because, you know, this is the Christmas tree. You put gifts. I'm pretty sure I put some books in there as well as a Nintendo Switch, I guess. I'm not sure 
why. These were supposed to be uh, green in both red and green beds, but that was reset, and here's the hearth. But there's not a lot to that, so moving on. Oh, that's a fun, that's a fun place. We'll get to that in just a second. Alright, so I made this while I was reading the book series. You might have heard of it. It's called The Ranger, Ra Ranger's Apprentice. This is... The appearance of this place is not at all based off of what it is in the book, but it's like loosely based because like this is the ranger's cabin. There's supposed to be like their bows and arrows in here. Two beds for the two rangers. These were supposed to be brown. And you know, that's it. Another you know, hearth. And like there are two horses in there. But uh, those aren't here anymore, so. Alright, this is another thing my brother made. This huge bridge, which actually is probably like the coolest thing that he made. I'm actually, I actually really love this thing. This bridge looks so cool. I made this little thing just to bridge this gap, but I purposely uh, copied his design just so that it would fit. So this leads to like a, uh, a village in the mountains. So you, you can't get there any other way besides through this bridge. And you can, and this can be shut. This can be closed. So if this is closed, there's no way to get into the village. See, look. Oh, there's a lag there. See, look at that. Totally closed, and we're safe from anything and everything. So this is the village. See, it's actually kind of cool. You have a bunch of snow golems, but uh, this is why you can't get to. Whoa, lag. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of lag. Yeah, this is why you can't get to the village, because of all this the fences, and because of all that. This, this, the sides are too sheer, and man, there's a lot of lag. Alright, there we go. Alright, now it's just lagging because of all these villagers. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, get ahead of my way, villagers. Okay, so these houses are kind of dark. They're supposed to be into a fire. This is a hearth or fireplace, whichever. Only it's an actual colored bed. But it's kind of dark in here, so that's why monsters are spawning. But uh, all of the houses are pretty, pretty drab. They're all made of stone. That's, uh, I think it's a deep fountain or a well. So that's the well of the village. It's indoors so that it doesn't freeze. And then, uh, there's a little thing on the side of this, I think. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. Okay, villagers. And then, I'm not sure what this was supposed to be, but some sort of temple. That's it. I, I just made a bunch of random things, and I never really knew what they were supposed to mean. It's like, you know, it's symbolic. It's got, you've got water on one side, lava on the other, and it all joins together to celebrate the crystal or whatever, I don't know. And then there are, there's a map that shows the village, and then this is the final thing. It's a it's a watchtower. You can come up here, and you can watch, and you can get all the way up here and watch over everything. All right, but yeah, I think that's it for this village. I forgot what this village was called, but it doesn't really matter. This is another thing my brother made. Uh, these are supposed to spawn a bunch of villagers. <laughs> See, there are still remaining villagers, and there's like an axe of beds. I think I might have made that for some, I don't know. I'm, I remember I made this, though. So. This was a little laboratory. There's supposed to be um, a single librarian villager in here, but it's a cool little place. And you can you can shut the doors from inside. Uh, this was supposed to be, oh yeah, because you can, you can still, like, I think you can still get to them. Yeah, yeah, but you can, you can use that to open if you get stuck. Okay. Alright, and yeah, there's that. Alright, so this is, this is like, this is like the rainbow bridge from, from Marvel. From, uh, I'm not sure if it's actually Norse mythology, maybe it is. But you know, from the Asgard bridge, I'm not sure what it's called. But it leads to this cloud. And this cloud leads all the way up here. So you, see, you can see the rainbow bridge all the way down there. A bunch of rainbow colored things. 
and then this is a pleasant little walkway. It's actually really cold up here because of all the snow. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it's always cold when it gets this high. This might just be a cold biome though. So it's like a, a little place. Uh, I would, I always, I would prefer it if the ice didn't always block it up, but that's what always happens. Because this ice would always just freeze the water. And then things, things wouldn't be the same. But I would always, I remember I used to always just, uh, I used to always break the ice and refill the water, but eventually I just stopped doing that because every time I came up here, there'd be ice. Yep. Alright, so. We're gonna quit while we're ahead and get out of here. So that, there's that. I'll just throw that out. And it's a little bit ugly with all this water coming down, but a lot of things that I make are kind of ugly, but they're just kind of cool at the same time. Remember this for later. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll remind you when you need to remember this. Alright, so there's a blue tree up here. Uh, there are supposed to be a bunch of rainbow sheep, like purple, purple sheep in here, blue, green, uh, yellow, orange, and red. But I guess, like most things, they just reset. And one of the newer things that I built that that wasn't saved was there was like a uh, there there was also there also used to be a shepherd right here. But like I built this house in there, and, and I built like a bunch of different rooms, and it was actually really cool. But it was not safe. All right, and this leads to a swamp, which is one of the, one of the oldest places, aside from the library. That's why I said one of. But it's called the Nameless Swamp. Uh, there used to be signs here. They might be invisible. I don't know. But you enter the swamp. And uh, it, it turns at night, and it strikes lightning. So it kind of it would hurt you if you were in uh, uh, adventure. And this place is supposed to be kind of dangerous. You can come in here, and there's little tr there's some treasure at the end. Yeah, if you come all the way over here, I'm not sure if it's still going to be there, is it? Yep, bane of the dead. This swamp is pretty much deadly, very literally deadly. All right, and then okay, you can come out here and yeah, there's a tome of underland. I just thought that was a cool name. I remember. But we had the skulls of the dead. Heed them not; they will oft lead the pliable astray and discourage the faint-hearted. Be not pliable or faint of heart, but be strong-willed and hardy. Take the bane of the dead to blaze your path through the swamp and find your way out. Be wary, the only way out of the swamp is through the doors of living death, which appear as strange doors seemingly misplaced. <laughs> strange doors seemingly misplaced. Or, yeah. Most things in this world seem strange and seemingly misplaced. Alright, and then this is one of the things that I really liked. Right? It's like a, a, little, a little outpost. It's an, it's, it's an old thing. As you can see, it's fallen into a state of decay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I made a map there of the nether, and I put it in there. I called it the Plain of Fihar, I think. So you can come down here. And so this place actually doesn't have a name. This swamp is it's called, it's literally just called the Nameless Swamp. If you read this, do not wander into the swamp of Enfrontas. It is perilous to do... Okay, thank you. Uh, do so. The lands beyond are fought with danger. Be wary. Okay, so the actual name of this place is Enfrontas, apparently. So this this is apparently the, the this is apparently the door of living death, or one of the doors of living death, as it's so dramatically named. And it turns at morning. Oh, I forgot. It's also supposed to turn into rainy weather, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, and there's a big cloud above it. There's a broken bridge which you can easily repair. Of course, side by side that, as I said earlier, just to reset things. Then there's a path that leads all the way over there to the sheep place. Okay, so the witch, yeah. So there's not. It's just a normal witch hut, you know, when it's naturally spawned. But okay, so magic wand, robotic dog, and you know, 
as I told you, there'd be references and stuff from other franchises. That's one of the things. So you come down here. Uh, remember to shut that, by the way. So you can come up here. Hilltop. That'll take you to the hilltop. Uh, you haven't seen that yet. Rings of Rintak. This will give you a bucket and a stirring rod. So there are just a bunch of potions there. I don't feel like I'll just do it. A bunch of potions and potions and ingredients. So yeah, you got all that and it's good. Alright, so we'll put these away for for another time. Alright, so we'll just use the hilltop. Rings of Rintak, you'll see what that is soon enough. So this is the hilltop. Very beautiful for being made by witches, I think. Who knows if they actually made this? I don't know. And then you got, you know, just a showcase of every type of tree in Minecraft. Very nice. Uh, yeah, yeah there's a there's a really deep well right here. That just goes all the way down to the bottom of the world. Oh, and this is also a cool place. I'll show you that soon. <laughs> so many things. I'm like, okay, I'll show you that in a minute. But, uh, you're just supposed to jump over that. Pretty, pretty simple come all the way up here. Man, I don't remember it being so long. Okay. Probably because I just did it so much. Okay, come up here. Teleports you up here. And you can you can sleep right there. But, I don't know if do that. The world is waiting. Alright, great. So that's that. So that's what that thing is. Pretty cool. That's that's all the way at the top of the world, by the way. All right. Uh, and yeah, uh, I didn't tell you, but these the there's actually there are barriers. You might have seen there are actually there are barriers surrounding the swamp, so you can't get in unless you <coughs> use these so-called doors of living death. Um, okay, so there's one more thing in the swamp, which is probably the coolest thing in the swamp, aside from that little outpost that I for some reason like. Well, that's disappointing. It's supposed to take you right here. So, like, if you look behind you, you're like, oh, there's a skeleton, but it's not really. I think there's actually supposed to be a skeleton in there. But, uh, this is not a nice place. This is a very evil place, as you can see. If you go through there, if you're done for, you can't get out. This will kill you. Or actually, this will... Oh, this is... This is... And there's supposed to be prisoners in there, I think. Uh, that teleports you to that, to that one, remember that bridge that I was like, oh, there's a teleporter that teleports you in here and then you fall down and you're trapped forever? I'm pretty sure this is what teleports you there. So that side is exactly the same. This is what you really want to go for. You come in here and you can't get out. There's supposed to be a stray in there. Uh, it's called the Pale King, I believe. Alright, so this will take you... Alright, there's supposed to be a bunch of a bunch of things in here, but not anymore. And some more stuff in there. So these, these teleporters don't work. Okay. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, this is another place. This is one of the things. So you got summoning ground of Ragbad. Uh what's in here? Okay, a bunch of stuff you can use to summon iron golems, and then that summons lightning and stuff. Pretty cool. Underneath here, this is one of the places that w that teleporter from that evil place t takes you to. Spawns you right here. That's supposed to s oh, oh, it still works. Wait, hold on. It's, it's supposed to summon wither skeletons. Oh, and these are still, these still work. I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember I actually found that. I just found this. Like, I got it off of a, uh, I got it off of a, a zombie or something. It was pretty good. It was so good that I'm like, hmm, I need to keep this. So I just put it in there. And we got all this stuff. All that stuff. Pretty cool. There's a lot of buckets and, and uh, things of destruction. Uh, all these things. A bunch of spawns. And I didn't put any spawns in there, but whatever. Does it still work? It does indeed still work. Okay, that's nice. But, well, actually, it's not that nice, because it put us here, and now there's no way to get out.
Okay, so that's where this teleport takes you. It, it takes you back to that other place that we were just at. This teleporter takes you right here. Alright, and then come through here. So this is this is also where that other teleporter takes you to, from that witch hut, underneath the witch hut, along with the hilltop. The other teleporter takes you here, which then takes, or actually that teleporter takes you here. And this is like, a, there, uh, according to the lore that I had, in my own mind, there was there were four great witches, and one of them lived in that hut that, that, that you see, and like they would come here and meet, and then these all take you back here. So this is this is the meeting ground for the, the Grings of Rintak, which are the four witches, and the, the what are they called? The, I think they're called the Stongs of Ragbad, which are... The, like the cursed knights that come from that other place, from Ragnarok. Oh, I thought the button did that. Alright then, so you can take this path from the beach bunker, at least this way, over here, to this place, which I also kind of like. This place is also pretty cool. The Valley of Desolation. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. Just forget about that. Just forget about that. Don't, don't, uh, don't think about the stuff under there. So this place is totally decimated. Um, I'm pretty sure this is because of TNT, but it looks pretty cool. Alright, so I think, yeah, there's one, there's one place over here. Yeah, yeah, it's over here. It's a bit, it's tucked away. You won't find it unless you stumble upon it, or you're just looking for hidden places, or you just happen to see it. Well, that's the same stumbling. So this is a, a thieves den with a bunch of stolen gold. So it's just a little cool place back there. This was just more a random thing that I did. It shoots out fireballs. It's got a lot of fireballs. Alright. And then wait, what's this? Where is this? Like, whoa. Stop lagging. Oh, the game's lagging. Falls of Mendros. One of the few places that actually have names anymore. Okay, so this is kind of cool because it's a long waterfall and it goes all the way down there. So I'm gonna go. Where does this lead? Just down here. I don't think there's anything interesting down there. Oh, I forgot to show you. There's a. There's another place down here. Just a little cave. It's a nice place. It's supposed to be uh, gray, as you can see. But yeah, that's that's about that's about everything there. Okay, now for the things that lie in this direction. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is called the Plain of Desolation. Uh, I forgot what that meant, but oh well. All right, you got a neat little thing. I hope this still works. <laughs> The notes, uh, the notes don't work. The notes have been reset, but but not the repeaters, thankfully. So I might fix that later on. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it plays. You should be able to guess. Or maybe I don't know. <coughs> okay, this is another, this is another cool little thing that I built. It's a dark little thing with a, with a black cloud over it. Uh, let's go down into it. Oh. <coughs> So there's no way to get up here, unless, I don't know, I don't know, I, I just never made a way to get up here. You have to fly, I guess. Alright, so there's a path of bed stone, or bedrock, that leads uh, down here. Just follow the path that leads all the way down, I think, to the bottom of the world. I think we're close to the bottom of the world already. Let's see. How many blocks away? Yeah, we're only 14 blocks away from the bottom. 
So pretty close. So then we come over here, just go run along this. Uh, I'd say that because I'm like, hey, diamond, diamond door. It's it, it's it's good seeing it even when it's in creative. You just stumble across it. All right, so then it leads down this place. And uh, this place is pretty dark. As you can see, there there's this big thing, which is supposed to be a coffin. Uh, there are four on this side and four on this side. There's supposed to be a bunch of horses. Wait, there's still a horse. Yep, you can see what that's called. Uh, uh, another thing that's based on it. Yep, the iron gun. Uh, saddle. Here that just leads to death, the bottom of the world. Okay. Yep, Illuminati. I don't know why. Uh, I think there's something underneath. Yeah, see it. Illuminati. Over there. I'm pretty sure two of them killed you and one of them teleported you. And that one teleported you over here, where the Illuminati eye watches over. So there's actually something down there, I'll show you. Uh, there's a haunted graveyard. Uh, a flooded graveyard. With a fence around it. If you dare to linger until dusk, beware the brainless dead. Uh, and I think I have zombie spawners underneath all of these gravestones. So, um, so fun fact, this, actu this was actually supposed to be a huge tree that, that went all the way up there, but uh, the way I built it, it just looked really ugly, and I couldn't even make the leaves because they just kept they just kept decaying and dying. So I just burnt the whole thing to the ground, and this is what's left. So I decided to make something around it. And this is what there is. Okay, and then you can come here. And there's, there's another portal for some reason. Alright, this is another thing. Another one of the, the cool things that I've made. So so you get to it from over here, just just for geography. That was the geography. Oh, oh boy, like. Alright, hold on a second. So you get to it from out here. From through the plane of desolation, I'm pretty sure that's my brother. Oh, well, this torch is there. Uh, there. There's actually a huge, a, yeah, a huge box of, uh, of, as you can see, it leads all the way down there. Of barriers. There used to be four Ender Dragons just stationary, just in there, and there used to be four uh, Ender Crystals. Not sure why I did that. I think that was when I was experimenting, trying to spawn Ender Dragons. But then that never worked out, excuse me. Um, yeah. So I think that was one of the first things I ever did in the world, so there's that. Okay, but this leads over this bridge. I guess I'll go over it. So another bridge, just like that bridge that goes over that lava over there. I, I thought I remember something being down here. Is there anything down here? Okay, I don't know. Maybe that was something newer. Alright, but then it leads to this arena viewing area on the eastern listening. We'll go to the viewing area. So it's an arena, and it's a stable where you put your horse. Just jump over it with your horse. They have good jumping abilities. Beast enlistment 1, beast enlistment 2, large beast enlistment. So these uh, these teleporters actually work as I like. I, I explored this world a little bit. Because uh, when I first got onto the world, it spawned me right in there. Okay, so this is so the arena is supposed to be you're supposed to like level up. So you start out as rank rank one wood, rank two stone, rank three gold, rank four iron, and rank five diamond. And you're supposed to have items here. So warrior enlistment it puts you in here, and then uh, they're supposed to be up there. 
There were a bunch of spawners around here that would spawn enemies, but I think I might have gotten rid of those, because then I, s I said, okay, I can just spawn them from right here, which is what the beast enlistment is for. Oh, and you can summon the fire enemies. See, that's what the thing in the universal library was for. So you do that to get back, and then those, this, this beast enlistment. This roof actually used to be made of purpur, but I made it into packed ice because I thought purpur looked ugly. So yeah, there's a fun fact for you. Alright, uh, oh yeah. This is Beast in the Smith. One maybe, I don't know. Alright, but that's the arena. So here's a, here's a small woods. Uh, I actually made all of these trees by myself. I planted them all by myself. Alright then. Discord. I planted all of them by myself. Alright. Um, so I planted all these trees by myself and made that bridge, of course. Um, there's supposed to be a sign up there. Uh, I don't know. I forgot the name of this one. I think it was called Fandril Woods. Fandril Forest. New, I think, Woods. Alright, and then... This is kind of cool. I think there's supposed to be a little bit of center and a map in there, maybe. I don't know, but it's just a little refuge. So you go through Fandril Woods, and it's pretty tight because it's not a lot of room for all these trees, so it's a bit of a tight space. So then you come through here, and the point is to get all the way over here. To this, and then this leads down here. Okay, I have this thing up here. Training grounds. Sword skill. Trained with swords. There are supposed to be a bunch of uh, armor stands that are split with the zombie, and the, with they're dressed like zombies. They're supposed to be dummies that you practice your sword play on, and then there's supposed to be a bow in there practice your archery with. But, what is, you might ask, why why is there a uh, practicing ground? Well, let's go down here. There's a bed right there. Just in case you get sleepy. This is actually where you're supposed to start in the war when you first join the world. You're supposed to spawn down here because this is the ranger adventure sword adventure shield. Those are the two items you're supposed to get first. So this, so in when you join the world, uh, according to the story, you're actually a ranger. And this is the ranger training grounds, where rangers are trained. So you are here, you're a newly trained ranger, and you come here, and this is where you start, and there's supposed to be dummies that you can practice on, and you're supposed to be these. everything down there. I think there's only one more thing I need to show you guys. So it's all the way over here. I built it very, very far away from everything else. There are a few things on the way, like this. There's a little uh, grass pyramid in the swamp. I'm not really sure what this was supposed to be. I think I just did it to mark the way, because like, the, it's a long way, uh, but there are two things that mark it. There's that thing back there, and this thing over here. 
So this is just like a temple thing. It's another it's another waypoint, another marker. Uh, it doesn't really lead anywhere. But you can come in here. And this is a temple with a lot of trees, every type of tree, and that's it. And it goes out there. Yeah, uh, in the newer version of the world, I actually built a path. I made a path that led all the way from over to the uh, to the cursed nameless swamp, over to here, and all the way to where I'm going. It was pretty cool. It was a cool journey. Oh, okay, we'll let that load in, I guess. This is giving me bad flashbacks of Subnautica. So, we just have to keep going right here. I remember this. So you go this way, and then it would lead to a, a savanna, which of course leads to a desert. But we're gonna end up in a savanna, which isn't the, which probably isn't the best place to to have built what I did build. But uh, I built it there, so yeah. All right, and then you come over here. I remember coming to this village, and I built a really cool thing over here. It was basically the Ranger HQ. I forgot what I called it, what its official name was, but, and yep, there's this thing, that's a huge castle, it's a huge unfinished castle, I built like, the main frame of it, uh, I was gonna build four towers on top, but I never did, I haven't done that I guess, yeah I have the outlines for them, what is that up there for, it's just, this is probably the be the top, right? Yeah, this is the top. I don't know why I have that there. Just get rid of that. Alright, and if you go inside of it, it's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, I put that, that's not the front. I put that banner there just so I, I could mark which, which, uh, side was the way to get back to everything else. So this is the actual front. Yeah, see, I was, I was really, this is really very very unfinished so it's very unpolished this is like the, the gate of course it's super dark or heck loads of monsters and like I did that to close the gate I never found a way of just getting it all in one switch I could probably find some way out now because that was a while ago but yeah this place is so cavernous it's like Moria which actually, I, I did make a place kind of like Moria in the newer world. That was like, that was one of my favorite things that I'd ever made in this world, but sadly it was not saved. It even had like this dungeon with a bunch of puzzles that you had to figure out. It was really cool, but it was, it was a newer thing, so when everything was erased, it was too. Alright, well, I believe that is everything. I believe I've showed you everything, and well, everything that I know, everything that I know of, everything that I built, or was saved from this older version of the world. But yeah, it's uh, I'll probably I'll probably polish this up a little bit, and then actually post it online, and uh, I'll put this link in the description. So as of the time of th that this video comes out, uh, there probably won't be a link, but. Eventually there will be, because I'm going to fix, like, you know, there's been broken command blocks and lots of things that are supposed to be there but aren't. So I'll fix all of that, and then I'll post it online for you guys if you want to try this out, because I think it is a little bit cool. Some of the things are a bit interesting. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Go ahead and like it if you did like it, and dislike it if you did not. Be honest with yourself, man, be honest. And if you really liked it, and really like me, or just my content, you don't have to like me as a person. But, uh, then, uh, subscribe and become a leprechaun. If you don't want to become a leprechaun, then too bad, don't subscribe. And if you don't want to be nonlinear, same thing applies. Anyway, thank you for watching once again, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!